10 steps if you're a beginner to become a pro rider and you can do it also in weeks. Spoiler, it will cost some money. Uh, yes, 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 I know. It's difficult to do in weeks. Yeah, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you about someone that did it. And uh, hi, crankers, hi, sprinters. Welcome back for a new episode here, Cranker Sprint Chronicles, episode number 32. The first step to becoming a pro cyclist is to invest in a quality road bike. Not this one, not this one, not this one, not even this one. This one is good. This one you could do. And if you like to get dirty, this one is good too. That's non-negotiable. You need to wear an helmet. It's very important. Make sure you fit all the safety standards. And then don't just get the first one that you see on the shelf. It's very important to have a very good bike and an helmet to start riding. To start getting faster is very important to start uh, going out riding at least weekly try to do your weekly training two type of training the magic happening zone two i did a video as well about zone two you just click on top right and you can see that video and then you can do intervals very short burst of intensity to improve your speed and your kick once you are riding you can also use indoor training platform like swift that they have preset or workout they will help to build your ftp or build your basic endurance and also develop your z2 at your endurance power it's important to wear the right outfit special bibs and jersey just for cycling they don't only give you a difference comfortability once you are riding it will be very helpful for long rides and there's gonna be long rides don't use cotton don't use the classic clothing you get sweat you get wet and you will stay wet shoes with cleats yes please they will keep your foot glued to the pedal to transfer all the power that you have on your legs those are absolutely essential so shaving your legs may reduce drugs also aero socks if you want to improve a bit of watts that they could be really helpful and they look really pro Cycling maintenance is really important. You want to have your bike at the top level always every time you go for a ride. Make sure you check the tire pressure, you check always the chain, is it, is it looped or not. Uh, also learn how to fix parts, learn how to change things. So have a basic knowledge. If, if something breaks down, you're always able to repair. Make sure you get the right size of the bike for riding. Also a bike fitting via some online app or professional bike fitting might really help you to correct your position. I also did a video about the position of Remco Evenepoel. You can see again on top right here on the video. Fuel your body is really important. Always make sure you carry bottles with you. Stay always always hydrated, use carbohydrates, electrolytes on your bottle is really important to restore energy and keep have energy and carbohydrates that they are burnt while you are riding, especially for long rides. To join your local group is highly recommended to improve your fitness, to have fun and to share knowledge and moments with your teammates. Have fun, ride and have fun, go out, whatever you see, amazing landscape, whatever you travel with your bike, whatever you solo, whatever you're out with your friend, make sure you explore around the world with your bike. It's one of the best ways to explore your surroundings, going traveling with your bike, etc., and meeting new friends. Almost there make sure you track your progress download an app like for example Strava so you can see all your progress in training you can control your personal best and how faster you go versus the previous trainings also if you have some money to spend extra you can buy a power meter and every time that you're riding you're able to see your power and also to control perfectly your trainings those one were my 10 suggestions uh, on how to improve your riding styles your equipment how you ride a bike to choose the right bike and to choose the right equipment nutrition etc etc going back to the person the managing week one was for example jay wine they did uh, the swift academy from an amateur rider he became a pro rider setting a contract with the alpes in the clinic and now he's actually riding for uae emirates he won the australian national championship he won two stages of the world at Espana, along other races it's possible to become a pro 
in weeks yes uh, if you are a very fast amateur rider and also if you join the swift academy i'm gonna try the swift academy in the next few weeks so don't forget to subscribe the channel down below like the video and share with all your friends that needs to improve a bit their skill levels on the bike let's quickly talk about my week now i went on holiday but i still managed to train this week with starting with a monday i did a zone 2 of 40k and then i did a london dynamo tuesday Day with four hills where I push a bit more I packed up a hundred kilometers just a bit less before going on holiday so I wanted to work uh, on the distance on the Z2 on the endurance on the first two days of the week the block of Z2 before going on holiday traveling on Wednesday I took a rest on the Thursday, I enjoy a very nice cordata in zone one, actually. So I didn't really go above 100 uh, bit per minute uh, at San Rafael in southern France, an amazing adventure, which I recommend to everyone. On the Thursday, I achieved a mini dream of mine, which was to do a run on the Promenade des Anglais in Nice, one of my favorite places in France. I did 5K at 424 per kilometer with 30 degrees. It was really hard, but it was very enjoyable. On the Saturday we visit a very wild island of pork roll near Saint-Tropez. We went with a bike, I tried for the first time a Lapierre mountain bike, really good bike. We were wandering around the island, I did 20k and you see also some video while I'm talking here about this nice island and it's very nice and pristine, very wild as you only ride around with bikes or you can walk around so it was really really great adventure. And this is how I end up my training week. A new digital online cycling surprise for next week so make sure uh, you'll be back here next thursday 6 30 pm london time